Cade Smith has never quit anything in his life, and that includes football. Football was taken from him. A lightly recruited football player from San Antonio, Smith committed to Oklahoma State along with his twin brother, Zach, as a preferred walk-on in 2016. The two moved to Stillwater shortly after their senior year of high school and completed summer workouts in fall camp. While playing football at Oklahoma State, Caden and Zach lived at Smith Hall on OSU's campus, living across the hall from OSU basketball player, Tyree Coger. Little did the Smiths know, Coger would play a much bigger role in their lives than they could ever imagine. Mission Leslie, heartbreaking story this morning. 21-year-old Tyree Coker died around 6.30 last night after collapsing during a team workout. As a result of his death, OSU retested every athlete on campus for heart conditions. The university previously went through this process, but double-checked after Coker's death. Most of the athletes' results came back as normal, but that was not the case for Smith and teammate Josh Maben. Maben's results showed that he had an enlarged heart, which forced him to immediately give up on football. Smith's situation, however, was much more complicated. The team decided that it was best that they had called Oklahoma Heart Hospital over in Oklahoma City and in Stillwater to come and do some extra checks on myself, Josh Maven, and a couple of other athletes. The doctors diagnosed Smith with three problems. Bicuspic aortic valve disease, left bundle branch blockage, and Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome. Refusing to give up on his dream of playing college football, Smith decided to undergo surgery to fix his heart. The complicated procedure consisted of freezing an extra node in Smith's heart which was misfiring only 0.2 millimeters away from his regular nodes. After the first surgery failed, doctors advised Smith to give up on football. They told him another surgery would be too risky and could result in irreversible damage to his heart. With everything that was going on and the first procedure failing, relationships in Cade's life were tested. Oh, I definitely would love to have been there and, you know, when he would wake up from his heart surgeries and be there just to comfort him, but, you know, I was just so busy and it, just, it was just hard and I felt kind of guilty sometimes because of it. Smith had a predicament to face. Was he going to give up on the sport he grew up loving and dreaming about, or was he going to risk it all and try to repair his heart a second time? As some more time passed and I got the second heart procedure set up. The second surgery took a little longer than usual. It was a little bit more intense. Um, the heart procedure, I'd gotten out and he told me that it was the last one that they could do. So I was praying and praying and hoping God would allow me to play football again. At first glance, the doctors at Oklahoma Heart Hospital thought the surgery was a success. But after a few days of observation, they broke the news to Smith that it too had failed. I was just sitting there, just emotional, just crying and really had no idea what to do next because he had told me that that was the last procedure that he could have done. Just weeks before the Cowboys began their 2016 football season, Cade underwent his third and final operation and this time it worked. Smith began to move forward with caution through therapy and after weeks of rehab began to feel 100% again. Cade had been told by team doctors that his football career was officially over and made it public later that day when he tweeted, the heart is not something to take lightly followed by an official statement explaining his situation. One man in particular helped Smith cope and move forward. His mentor, so, Charles Cox, was there um, for him. I remember one of the things that I told him was, you know, God has a plan that's bigger than ours. But now, with a blank slate and a new perspective on life, Cade can really begin to discover who he is off the field.